Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Don't Miss This on Paris Underground Radio. I'm your host, Jennifer Garrity, with a quick roundup of the best of what's happening in Paris this week. This week's edition of Don't Miss This covers the week of Sunday, February 6th through Saturday, February 12th, 2022. Salut, mes amours! Yes, I know we're still a week away from Valentine's Day, but that doesn't mean that love isn't in the air. As anyone who's lived here for a little while knows, Paris loves a love declaration. In today's episode, I'm going to give you three ways to shout your love from the rooftops. Metaphorically, of course. I'll begin with two of them, and you'll have to wait till the end for the third. But fear not, if this year sees you dodging from Cupid's arrow, there's still a lot for you to get into this week. Now, as you know, I usually talk about the week's events chronologically, but this week I'm going to start with two of those aforementioned love declarations because they have deadlines on them that are fast approaching. First up, you know those big message panels all throughout Paris? Well, there are 120 of them, and every year on Valentine's Day, they glow with love messages from people just like you. So, if you've been waiting for an opportunity to publicly declare your love, or to ask someone to marry you, or just to send a special surprise, now's your chance. These messages are selected by the town hall and will be posted for all to see, so please don't send anything untoward. Messages are also limited to 145 characters. To try your luck, send your message through the paris.fr website by Monday, February 7th at 12 p.m. Bonne chance! If declaring your love on a message panel is a little too subtle, this year you can project your love on the Eiffel Tower herself. And sending these messages is a little easier. All you have to do is tweet your love message on Twitter with the hashtag Eiffel in love. On Valentine's Day, at La Tour Eiffel will retweet their favorite messages in any language and project them onto screens on the Eiffel Tower. Lest you worry that that's all the Eiffel Tower is offering, let me set your mind at ease. This year, at the very top of the Eiffel Tower, you'll find a champagne bar with Coupe de Champagne Caviar and Coupe de Champagne Macaron offers for you. On the second floor, you can visit Pierre Hermé, where you'll find two chocolate macarons designed exclusively for the Eiffel Tower. And on the first floor... A Valentine's Day photo op will be waiting for you at the entrance to the Pavillon Ferrier, where you can immortalize your love surrounded by pink and red heart-shaped balloons. Speaking of Instagram, the Eiffel Tower's very own Jules Verne restaurant is running a Valentine's Day competition. You can win dinner and a bottle of champagne at Jules Verne, as well as two glasses of champagne at the top of the Eiffel Tower, a bouquet of flowers, and a visit to the tower herself before dinner. Head to at Tor Eiffel Officiel on Instagram to enter. That's at T O U R E I F F E L O F F I C I E L L E. If Valentine's Day contests are your thing, you can also travel cross city to Bercy Village, where Christmas's umbrellas have been swapped out for a giant red heart. This heart, titled Coup de Coeur, is an art installation from visual artist Franck Pelletier. This heart will be on display across from the UGC until February 20th, but you only have until the 13th to win a Valentine's Day extravaganza, including a dinner in one of the Bercy Village restaurants and 500 euros in gift cards. All you have to do is take a photo in front of the heart and head back over to Instagram. Post your photo with the hashtag Bercy Village and tag at Bercy Village Paris and you're entered. Coup de Coeur will be on display from February 4th through the 20th at Bercy Village, but the contest only runs through the 13th. For more information, head to BercyVillage.com. That's B-E-R-C-Y-V-I-L-L-A-G-E dot com. Okay. Enough of that love business. Let's dive into some art. First up, there will be another open-air art installation running from Monday, February 7th through May 8th around the Hotel des Invalides. 
street artist C215 will pay tribute to 15 heroic resistance fighters from World War II with bright graffitied portraits in an installation called Portrait des Compagnons de la Libération, or Portraits of Companions of the Liberation. This installation will run in conjunction with an exhibit from the Musée de l'Ordre de la Libération, or the Order of the Liberation Museum, which I'll also be talking about in an upcoming episode of Storytime in Paris, so stay tuned. This exhibit is called Entre Ombre et Lumière, or Between Shadows and Light, and will showcase more of C215's work with portraits of more resistance fighters, people like Jean Moulin, Marie Aquin, or Romain Gary, emblazoned on bomber jackets, suitcases, and other miscellaneous objects. Portrait des Compagnons de la Libération and Entre Ombre et Lumière will both run from Monday, February 7th through May 8th, and more information can be found at Ordre de la Libération.fr. That's O R D R E D E L A L I B E R A T I O N dot F R. On Tuesday, February 8th, the Moleskin Foundation brings its exhibit Detour from Shanghai to Paris before heading off to London and ending in New York. This collection contains 1,300 works of art created by illustrators, graphic designers, architects, musicians, writers, and directors, all on Moleskin notebooks. Participants were encouraged to think of their role as a driver of positive social change and then let their creativity fly. The exhibit hopes to be a source of inspiration, especially for the disadvantaged youth who benefit from the educational programs of the Moleskin Foundation around the world. If you also want to be inspired, head to the Palais de Tokyo from February 8th through the 21st, the Bon Marché from February 9th through the 26th, the Ground Effect Gallery from February 23rd through the 26th, and the Moleskine Boutiques all around Paris from February 9th through March 31st. For more on the Detour exhibit, please head to moleskinefoundation.org. That's M-O-L-E-S-K-I-N-E-F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N dot org. Hungry? How would you like to munch on Papa's beard? <laughs> oh, wait, that's not how you translate that. From Tuesday, February 8th through the 20th, Barba Muse, the ephemeral cotton candy museum, is back with an immersive tour for its second edition. Some of you may remember the first edition, a bright, Instagrammable, and multi-sensorial trip into bathtubs filled with colored balls, through a fluffy cloud of teddy bears, with cotton candy on your tongues and its sweet smell in the air. This year, Barba Muse, get it, has moved to a larger location in the 11th arrondissement, and among other things, I've heard tell of a pink beach with cotton candy umbrellas and marshmallow shells. Barba Muse will run from February 8th through the 20th, and admission ranges from 10 to 16 euros. For more information, please visit barbamuse.fr. That's B-A-R-B-A-M-U-Z dot F-R. Now that we've vanquished our sweet tooth, we're off to our next quest. Beginning on Thursday, February 10th, head to the Musée qui branle Jacques Chirac, for the festival Hero, Heroine, Le Mois de l'Epopée, or Heroes, Heroines, Epic Month. Throughout this festival, lasting about a month and a half, you're invited to discover extraordinary heroes and heroines through the epic tales of the Persian Book of Kings and the Sumerian Gilgamesh. First up, from Thursday, February 10th through Sunday, February 13th, is Shaname, Les Amours de Binjan and Manege which comes from the Book of Kings, a Persian epic written in the 10th century and considered one of Asia's greatest literary works. Shaname recounts in verse the mythological history of ancient Persia, including several tales of heroes and famous Iranian historical figures. Illustrator and film director of Iranian animation Hamin Ramanian has adapted this episode of The Loves of Binjin and Manege, which recounts the adventures of Manege, a heroine admired for her strength and determination who helps prevent war between rival kingdoms. 
This particular performance is described as life-size animated shadow theater with real game and animated film sets, and it will be presented in English with French surtitles. For more information, including ticketing and showtimes, please visit kbranly.fr. That's Q-U-A-I-B-R-A-N-L-Y dot F-R. For the writers and book lovers among you, I have something special. On Friday, February 11th, the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, or the French National Library, will host the very first Festival du Livre Citoyen, or the Citizen Book Festival. This new literary festival, created by the Minister Delegate for Citizenship, Marlène Schiappe, has been created to promote reading, the, quote, great national cause, end quote, of 2022. It will include workshops, meetings, roundtable discussions, book signings, and the awarding of two literary prizes. The secondary goal of this festival is to help those who would like to be published to understand the world of publishing and perhaps even find a publisher. There will even be a manuscript box where authors can deposit their texts. Writers Leila Slimani, David Fokinos, Valérie Perrin, and Julien Sandrel will participate, as well as about 15 publishing houses. The Festival du Livre Citoyen will take place on Friday, February 11th, and more information can be found at bnf.fr. Saturday, February 12th marks the opening of the France-Portugal cultural season. This event will be held simultaneously in both countries until October of this year. As this is opening weekend, there are four major events for you to discover. One, an opening night concert at the Philharmonie de Paris on February 12th by the Portuguese pianist Marie-Joao Pierre and the Orchestra of the Gulbenkian Foundation, which will focus on Portuguese music of yesterday and today. Two, the Musée du Louvre has invited the Portuguese artist Pedro Cabrita Reis to design a monumental work, which will be displayed in the Jardin des Tuileries beginning on February 12th. His sculpture of the Three Graces is made out of Portuguese cork and reinterprets the Greco-Roman tale of which the Musée du Louvre has several versions. 3. On February 13th, the Théâtre du Châtelet will hold a day-long musical program titled The Mosaics of Portuguese Voices, which will highlight the diversity of traditional Portuguese song, including fado, morna, samba, bossa nova, and gombe. And four, also on February 13th, the Centre des Monuments Nationaux will present Pantio Pantheon, a photo exhibit displayed on the gates of the Pantheon. This collection compares and contrasts the Parisian and Lisbon pantheons. For more information about the France-Portugal cultural season, including opening night, please visit paris.fr. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. And we're back. What's that? More love, you say? Well, who am I to demure? Lace up your best running shoes, grab your tracksuit, or if you're Parisian, throw on your favorite pair of jeans. Don't get me started. And head to the Parc des Bouchemont on Saturday, February 12th for a Valentine's Day race. You can run in one of three events. A 10K, a 5K, and a 5K duo. Where's the romance, you ask? Well, if you're brave enough to choose the 5K duo, you'll be paired up with a partner. And who knows? Maybe they'll be the one. Open to all, this event welcomes singles and couples and is organized by the frontrunners of Paris Association, an LGBTQIA and Friends Running Club. You can collect your racing bib at the Jean Jaurès Gymnasium the same day, and a festive evening has been organized for after the race. And really... What could be more romantic than spandex and sneakers? Except perhaps some fuzzy wristbands. For more information, please head to frontrunnersparis.org. That's F-O-R-N-T-R-U-N-N-E-R-S-P-A-R-I-S dot org. Let's head back to the Bercy Village for Sweet Valentine, also taking place on Saturday, February 12th. More specifically, let's head to the Accor Arena Ice Rink, 
for an evening of ice skating to R&B and love songs. With two days left until the actual Valentine's Day, you'll have just enough time to celebrate your love or find someone new. And never fear, different colored wristbands, from green to yellow to red, will help identify who to flirt with and who to triple lutz away from. Soiree Sweet Valentine will take place on Saturday, February 12th from 9.30 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. Please head to acarena.com for more information. That's A-C-C-O-R-A-R-E-N-A dot com. And now, your third way to declare your love on Valentine's Day. As you likely know, Season 2 of Paris Underground Radio will begin next Sunday, February 13th. In honor of this event, and in honor of Monsieur Saint Valentine, Paris Underground Radio is throwing a special event, Love Letter to Paris. People claim that Paris is the most romantic city in the world, but is it? Join Paris Underground Radio hosts Jennifer Garrity, that's me, Lily Heisey, Annette Deleu, and Catherine Kemp Griffin for a fun-filled evening with the Parisian Inside Scoop. We'll tell you dating horror stories. What's that? You're part of an organized crime ring? Our most romantic dates. Kissing under the rain while the Eiffel Tower sparkles is a cliche for a reason. And then we'll share what Paris means to us in our virtual love letter. And we'd love to hear your stories too. Want to get in on the fun? Well, we're giving away four gifts. First, an hour-long love reading by spiritual guidance coach, intuitive Akashic and tarot reader, Annette Deleu. Second, a copy of Je T'aime Me Neither by author Lily Heisey. Third, a copy of Paris Undressed by author Catherine Kemp Griffin. And fourth, a list of 10 romantic bars and restaurants for a date night, handpicked for the winner by romance expert Lily Heisey. So, how do you win? Well, for one entry, simply tag someone you love at Paris Underground Radio on Facebook or Instagram. For five entries, send us a short video message declaring your love to a friend, a lover, Paris, or anything else, and send it to hello at parisundergroundradio.com or message us on Facebook. We'll air the videos on Valentine's Day in a beautiful video declaration. In order for your entries to be valid, though, you must attend the event. And as a bonus gift, head to parisundergroundradio.com and sign up for our newsletter. You'll receive a weekly sneak peek into all our upcoming podcast episodes and a free guide to season one. Love Letter to Paris will take place online on Sunday, February 13th at 6 p.m. For more information, to sign up or to enter to win a prize, please head to facebook.com slash parisundergroundradio. You do not need to have a Facebook account to attend this event. And don't forget to head to Paris Underground Radio to sign up for our weekly newsletter, get your fabulous free gift, and never miss out on another episode of your favorite Paris podcasts. Well, that's it for this week's roundup of Don't Miss This. I hope this week treats you well. If you enjoyed this roundup, please tell a friend. If you venture out to any of the events mentioned in this podcast, please let me know and tag Paris Underground Radio on Facebook or Instagram. And if you think you have an event we should know about, please feel free to email me at hello at parisundergroundradio.com with the subject line, don't miss this. I'm your host, Jennifer Garrity. You can find me on all socials at Jenny Foria, J-E-N-N-Y-P-H-O-R-I-A. Don't Miss This is produced by me for Paris Underground Radio. For more on Don't Miss This and shows like it, please go to parisundergroundradio.com. Thank you so much for listening and happy exploring.